very oh, important did. mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. did very. Uh, but actually, Gemma is a great ambassador for British yeah, yeah. for women's judo in general. She's a, a, a gorgeous looking girl. She's got a real personality, as such a, a warming, bubbly personality. And y just anybody that meets her just warms to her. She is just a great advertisement for, for women's judo in Absolutely. general. I saw her last week in Rijeka where she picked up uh, a bronze medal. Uh, the event was won, I think, by heart by Anna Valencic of Slovenia. Um, speaking about uh, Twitter, uh, you can follow us at Judo Europe. Um, we mentioned the top three actually uh, with uh, Gemma Gibbons, uh, Ashley McKenzie, and the most popular on Twitter. And guess who? Teddy Reiner. Teddy Reiner. He's now yes. 50,000 uh, fans. He started really late with Twitter. Uh, maybe a little bit pressure on him, but in a few weeks he had 50,000. This guy is beyond judo. Far but you know, beyond that judo. That must be quite inspiring as well to know that how warming is that to know that so many people follow you. No, it's, it's great. It's lovely, and isn't it? It's and a really he, nice he was thought. so grateful. We may know or remember the incident uh, that he uh, lost against uh, Kamigawa yes. in Japan in 2010. He didn't want to pick up the medal. No. Uh, but since then, uh, he... Um, there was a little tarnish to his career there, wasn't yeah, yeah, he? His yeah, personality yeah. when Mr. that Visa happened. spoke to him. And uh, since then, you see really development, how he interacts with the public, thanks the public. And it was great to see exactly. at the Grand Slam in Paris, but also in Rio, how he deals with the pressure and with the environment and, and and that is a gift really and Teddy is a real great uh, idol for like, us that like you like say it's a gift but it's something that is really important for young athletes and for coaches indeed as well is to nurture these athletes and expose them to the media yeah, so yeah. that they can conduct yeah, themselves yeah. in the correct manner and help them to develop them th to develop them as people but develop them in their th their careers Absolutely. as well. well this is one of the the, the goals of the EGU media team uh, we're already uh, trying to interview them at cadet level so immediately when they come from the tatami we saw that in Tallinn we interview them and uh, suddenly oh there's a there's a camera <laughs> in front of me and they have to get used to it and we saw that after doing that after one day uh, the athletes on the second day knew okay if I win I get this camera in my face yes. and, and they responded and they took and you know they're preparing themselves for it as well they do <laughs> they took the the <laughs> microphone they said if you want to be a champion you can be oh. close <laughs> like this can you imagine that for guys like 16 17 oh, and that's me. that's great great joy of that's course to, to see that yeah but it's, it's, that. it's nice to see an interaction and just a, just a tip for the young athletes, uh, from my perspective as a journalist, use the cameras. Show how good you are. I, you, you don't have to show off, but um, if you win a medal, well, just a thumb up, it's good for your career. Oh, not not, not that it helps you, but it, it is the tiny things. Oh, if you interact help, with the cameras, if you interact with the media, if you interact with the public, it pays out it pays out everyone just loves a good champion don't they yes. and a nice champion yeah. and at the end of the day they, they there was the old saying used to that if a, a world champion olympic champion was quite an arrogant person that really didn't want to know anybody and it, it always give the, a real bad impression of these world-class athletes and over the years media has played a major part in athletes careers yeah, yeah. and they know now they're very knowledgeable and they know how important it is to be liked. I, I think Olympic champions are people who are special, really. Mm. Not, not only from the, the qualities in judo, but also maybe it's also a little bit the character. If we see some of the European Olympic champions like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Paul, uh, um, uh, Uska Zolnir, yes. how special mm. is she? Oh. <laughs> I wonder if she will ever get back because uh, why would she start again after being so successful and she's, well, let's say 32 now. Uh, she's even in the organization for next uh, next event, uh, the World Championships uh, for Juniors in, in uh, Ljubljana in Slovenia. And uh, she's doing everything. She's a very successful coach. Okay, you can question why she should start again under let's say 70 kilograms or whatever weight category uh, but she's so open-minded she's so, so lovely so nice she's really special yeah and that's what you love to hear you yeah. really do and there's obviously a massive career there for someone like Teddy Reiner as well that yeah. he's so well known throughout the world and he's larger than life as well there's something yeah. about him that just Absolutely. oozes that confidence that everyone wants to, to love really or play a major part in knowing him yeah and, and, uh, and watching L'Equipe 
And on the next day in Rio, we saw only one picture of Teddy Reiner. It, it, that never happened. Only one picture of judo in L'Equipe. Mm -hmm. with, with just a picture of him. <laughs> that, is, that is massive uh, promotion for judo. Oh, definitely. Um, if I have the opportunity, let's go through the other sheets. Uh, for instance, the, we've discussed already 78 women and under 90 kilograms. Let's go to the men under 100 kilograms. Highest seated is uh, Shoot van Milo of the Netherlands. Um, there's a Russian guy actually not uh, appearing here, so he's the highest seated. So let's say that he is at least among the favorites. Um, also, Philip uh, Alcres. Yes, of yes. Of Great he's Britain. He's, he, well, we're hoping, we're banking that he'll get into that final today. Yeah, we really are. He's, he's come on leaps and bounds. He's really put the work in. And um, as you can see, every time this young man comes out, he's becoming more and more confident and the, the self-belief that he's capable of doing that. And, and yeah, you're at this age, you're, they're going to be making s silly mistakes, but he learns. He really does learn by these mistakes and you never see him exactly. make the same mistake twice. Yep. And uh, it is very refreshing to see. We've got some great junior athletes in Great Britain now that have come through and uh, it's just now exposure to this level of tournament. Yeah, yeah. but it's not and easy.